fun, but you got to respect the one wheel. I didn't do so. I got a little brave, a little too quick, about a week or two ago. Flew off the front of that son doing about 20 miles an hour. Not a good day. I'm too old to be taking falls like that. It took me like a week. I was limping around. <laughs> but anyway, moral of the story, one wheels are a lot of fun, but be careful. But we need to get inside. I'm losing light fast. I don't think this 360 camera is going to do very well in low light. So let's get inside to the point of today's video, which is a Q&A. That's right. First Q&A. I think it's the first Q&A I've ever done on the channel. So that'd be fun. But before we do it, let's say thanks to today's sponsor. And before you fast forward through the sponsor, I know that's what you want to do. I would watch this one because every one of you has a chance to win a $40 gift card. So I would watch it. So let's go do that. Sponsor. Don't skip. Go watch. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Clocks and Colors. If you guys aren't familiar with Clocks and Colors, they are a Canadian based men's jewelry company and they make cool stuff like this ring right here. They lean heavily into that kind of tattoo culture slash motorcycle biker slash sailor nautical pirate, <laughs> like that whole kind of realm, which is one of the reasons why I love them. They just, they're really cool looking stuff. You guys up there in Canada, killing it, except whiskey, let's be honest. You guys don't make the best whiskey. I know that probably offended some people and I apologize. I'm sure there's some great Canadian whiskey out there. Thus far, I have not found one that kind of hits it for me. Hey, you kill it everywhere else. So you can't be perfect at everything, right? I have several rings from Clocks and Colors. The ones I have are the Dumb Luck, which is a horseshoe kind of thing. Me being from Kentucky, I have a tattoo of a horseshoe on my finger. I really dig the horseshoe thing. I also have the Tortuga. I have this ring that I'm wearing right now, which was in collaboration with another of my favorite Canadians, Peter McKinnon. This ring is called the Voyager. I also have one called the Black Widow. I love them all. They're super thick diesel, really well made, and like they're, little thing down here at the bottom. Zero f given since 2013. I mean, come on. It's like one of my favorite sayings. These are my people. Every single one of you can get a $40 gift certificate. I mean, that's next level. So the way they want to do it, they're going to run a $500 giveaway. I'm going to have a custom link down below this video. You click on that, it's going to take you to a custom page on their website for you to sign up for their newsletter. When you sign up for their newsletter, you're automatically going to receive a $40, yes, $40 gift certificate by email. I mean, that's next level. Come on, that's awesome. And from that pool of people that sign up for that, they are gonna select one winner within the next week from when this video posts for a $500 gift card to their website, which with a $500 gift card, you can get some nice pieces, several probably uh, off their site. So much appreciation to those guys for giving each one of you $40 off. And one of you guys, lucky ones, is gonna win $500. So make sure you check out that link, sign up for that and get entered in this to win that $500 gift card. One last thank you to the folks at Clocks and Colors for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Okay, so back to the point of the video, Q and A's. I'm gonna try to answer as many of these as possible. By the way, uh, I put this out on my Instagram stories asking for questions and you guys crushed it. I got so many questions. So I'm never gonna be able to hit all of them today. I'm gonna hit as many as I can. I'm gonna try to be brief in my answers. You guys know me, I, not the king of brevity. Pete's Pirate Life asks, favorite pastime to de-stress that is not whiskey or cigars? <laughs> First off, Pete, I love you, bud but that's blasphemy. I mean, whiskey and cigars. This is the way, <laughs> but I know what you mean. Not everything that I do for relaxation involves whiskey and cigars. Most of the time the day ends that way, but not everything. I'm also a huge movie buff. I love sitting and watching a good movie. I am a big family guy, so spending time with my family, normally spending time with friends and family, but you know, COVID, like, uh, mm. so I haven't been spending as much time with friends lately, but lots of time with the family, lots of outdoor bike rides with the family, the kids, like I was telling you earlier, I got the one wheel, so lately uh, I've had a lot of fun going on one wheel rides with my son, that's super relaxing. Working out, uh, lifting weights, exercise, uh, has been a big thing that I enjoy doing to relax, and I find that's a great way to relieve stress, but honestly, most days end with a little pour of whiskey and a cigar. You know, my buddy Chad from Big Idea Design, when them Glens dropping. Uh, if you don't know, Chad from Big Idea Design is also a co-owner of the company that I work with to do all my custom merch exclusive. We got some Glen Karens, some custom Glen Karens uh, with the uh, skull logo or the leaf and barrel logo coming out soon. Uh, so he obviously is just joking around. He knows when they're coming out because he's the one that's gonna ship them. Could you give a basic rundown to how you take notes on your cigar slash whiskey tasting? Not to be plugging my stuff. I'm actually coming out with a 
custom journal that I'm designing with Exclusive, and I'm formatting the pages in the journal to kind of have my scoring sheet and kind of laid out the way that I score and uh, review or take notes on cigars. It's gonna be a leather bound. They're gonna have one for whiskey, one for cigars. Uh, and that way you guys will know exactly how I take my notes because it's gonna all be laid out. I'll do a whole video when that comes out too, just to kind of show you the way I do it. These two questions have some stuff in common. What is your main camera and how has your transition to Sony been? I've been shooting on the A7S III now for a few months since that came out toward the end of last year. And the Transition's been great. Got the whole 10-bit 422, 4K, S-Log 3. I mean, it, I can't complain. How many cigars do you smoke in a week and glasses of whiskey? I smoke usually two to three cigars a day. So that's the average. It can be a little higher some days, but normally two to three. And I don't know, maybe a pour uh, several nights a week. So I'd say probably four nights a week, maybe five, six glasses of whiskey a week and 14 cigars, 15, somewhere in that range. Rough guesstimate. I've been trying cigars, spent hundreds, and all I taste is smoke, no notes, any help. This is something I get a lot from people who are just getting into whiskey and cigars. It's super common, so don't feel like anything's weird. Just keep after it. My suggestion is watch some reviews of cigars and or whiskey, pull up the flavor notes that you see on the cigars, and then as you're smoking the cigar, try to see if you can pull those out. As you smoke a little bit longer and longer, you're gonna kind of get acclimated to the smoky, kind of harsh flavors, and you'll start to be able to kind of taste and pull out those nuanced flavors down below. Just enjoy it, try not to stress out. It'll come. There were several questions about my tattoos. What are your meanings of your tattoos? What is your favorite tattoos? Do you have any new tattoos planned? Tattoo related questions. Probably my favorites are the ones I have of my kids' footprints because, well, those are my kids. I love them. The meaning of my tattoos, I have a lot. So there's a lots of different meanings. My whole left arm is pretty much devoted to family. I have the word family with a big angel, my kids' footprints, mom and dad, my daughter's name and footprints different things that are homages to family members and whatnot. The newest tattoo, which I think somebody asked, is this one right here, which is a skull with some ram horns kind of symbolizing the devil. Because I have an angel with all my family members, on this arm, what I'm gonna do is the devil and then all kind of the sins of man or vices. I'm gonna do maybe some whiskey or some cigars or different types of things on this arm that are vices, kind of, you know, sinners and saints, opposing forces on my left and right arm. I'm not gonna rush though, because this is like my last piece of prime real estate that I have not tattooed, so no rush. It'll probably take me a while to finish that out, but that's kind of the game plan. Lots of gun questions. Do you shoot guns? Are there gonna be any gun-related videos? So forth and so on. Yes, I do shoot guns, not as much as I used to because it's really expensive. Ammo is crazy expensive. I used to shoot pretty much every week. You will never see any gun content on this channel because YouTube is like crazy crazy about the gun stuff and they will demonetize your shit in a heartbeat. I've thought about doing some gun related content on my second channel, Jeremy Sires After Hours, because that's not a monetized channel anyway. So maybe we'll do some over there, but long story short, yes, big fan of firearms, have a bunch of them, used to shoot all the time. I do have a concealed carry permit. I used to carry a Kimber Ultra carry, got to kind of too big, didn't wanna carry that more. Lately, I've been carrying a Ruger LCP, which is just like a little tiny 380. Uh, super convenient for hot places like Florida. I can just tuck that little dude in my board shorts when it's like 5,000 degrees outside and don't even really know I have it on me. Bullet or Woodford Reserve? I mean, come on, Woodford, be real. Did you ever get a Chris Reeve knife yet? Well, does that answer your question? <laughs> I did not end up getting a Sabenza. I ended up going with this which is an Incozy. This is a large Incozy. I love it very much. Is there going to be a man card V2? Absolutely, yes. You guys, ooh, looky here, looky here. I'm just opening some boxes while we're doing this. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you who this is from, so I'll kind of block off. But uh, let's just say these are some sample cigars that I just got in that a good friend sent over. I'm working on getting a signature cigar out and I'm working with somebody you guys know and those are two of the test blends for me to try out. Very excited about that. Man card version two will be coming. We're still designing it so I'm not for sure when, but absolutely yes, we are doing a B2. How do you find your new Tudor watch and are they worth a buy? Thanks, Philip. I love it. I think it's great. There was other one other question somebody had asked about how does it wear? Some people have uh, complained that they're a little top heavy because it is a rather thick watch. I love it. If you're a small frame person, you got very small wrist or a very small frame, it might be a little big for you. You could always go with Black Bay 38. Black Bay 38? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Black Bay 38. The smaller version of the Black Bay, it's a lot thinner. A lot of people say that rides a lot better on your wrist. However, it doesn't come in all the colors I like and 
I like a slightly bulkier watch sometimes. So I really enjoy it. I think it's great. It's like my favorite watch I have right now. So yes, and I think they're worth the money for sure. Matter of fact, I think they're probably one of the better deals for everything you get in this watch. Were you in the military at some point? You kind of have that vibe about you. Well, thank you. I take that as a compliment because I have a lot of respect for the guys in the military. However, no, I never served in the military. I did go through the police academy at some point. So maybe you're picking up on that. It was a paramilitary police academy training. So I don't know, maybe that's it. But no, never had the honor of serving. You should look into bunker branding for your merch, Demolition Ranch, Matt. That's where all my shirts and stuff are made. I do all my custom kind of non-apparel merch with exclusive and then all my apparel, my hats, my t-shirts and all that stuff are all done through bunker branding. Already there. I'm with you, we're tracking. Can you shave your beard in a video? No. Can you cut your balls off on a video? What kind of question is that? I think you did that just to elicit a response. <laughs> no, I'm not shaving my beard in a video, what's wrong with you? What is your definition of success? I think if I had to sum it up, it would be be a good person, be a good father, have a career that you really love and allows you to make enough money to support your family. I think if you're knocking all those things out, you're successful. Would you rather fight 20 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I will f up 20 duck-sized horses. We'll jack them straight up, kick them right in their heads. Now, a horse-sized duck is scary. No, I'm out on that one. I'll f up some duck-sized horses. Have you ever been to the UK? No, I have not had the pleasure of doing so. However, I would love to come one day. What do you recommend cutting your cigar with if you don't have the proper cutter? Most of the time, just your fingernail. Just kind of go around the edge and knock that cap off with your fingernail or maybe just bite it off with your teeth. I do that in a pinch all the time, works just fine. Why do you love patina so much? That's a good question. Obviously, I just like the aesthetic of it, but more so, I think it's the fact that when you have an item that's been patinaed, it tells a story, right? You, you develop that patina over carrying that thing for a long period of time or having that thing. And no two items that have a patina are exactly the same because each item is gonna patina differently dependent on you, which I think makes it unique and pretty damn cool. My buddy, the bourbon junkies. And you know what? I think Dan is the one that shipped this. Look at this asshole. Look how he addressed this box. Oh, let me see if I can get this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Is that focusing there? Father Time Inc. Very funny, Dan. <laughs> no, I love you, brother. Thank you. What did they send me here? Let me get this down here. Oh. Ooh, hold on, let's get this guy. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Octomore Masterclass. 8.1, that is gonna be a dandy. My brother Sean picked that up for me. There were some at a store up there by them. Greatly appreciate you, kind sir. Thank you very much. What else we got in here? Oh man, oh man. Look at that guy. Urban junkies bringing the heat with the coffee mug. Very nice fellas. Thank you very much. That is awesome, love it. My wife's probably gonna steal this, I'm just telling you. I can tell by the look of this mug, my wife's gonna steal it. Oh no, we got a piper down. This guy here looks like it did not survive the wrath of the postal service. <laughs> Those sons of bitches. I, half the time I get boxes, they look like they've been soccer kicked down a flight of steps. Yeah, oh man. I think I might be able to fix it though, guys. It looks like it can be super glued. So I might be able to fix it, but another coffee cup. Thank you very much, Dan and Sean both. The Bourbon Junkies, you know, you know I love you guys. Is it possible in the future to see a Peter McKinnon, Jeremy Sires collab? I, I hope so, and I think we probably already would have had one had it not been for the cluster that is Corona, just dry sticking it to every single one of us daily. Taylor, if you don't know, Taylor's also a good friends with Pete. We've had many conversations about, you know, maybe doing a road trip up to Canada to see Pete and then vlogging together the whole way up there and then, you know, doing some, some content while we're up there. But Corona, so, you know, whenever this shit clears out, hopefully we'll get a chance to go up and see one of our favorite Canadians, Mr. Peter McKinnon. How have you dealt with stress during the lockdown? Xanax, whiskey, cigars. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's such an healthy, I'm just, I'm kidding. 
I do not condone, especially Xanax and whiskey together. That's a, that's a recipe for disaster, I'm joking. In general, I'm a bit of a introverted extrovert. I love being around people and socializing, but at the same time, I like being alone and I work from home, so it doesn't bother me uh, being here. I think people that are used to working out and then were all of a sudden stuck in their house all the time, it probably affected a little bit harder than me. So, but in general, I've enjoyed kind of just everything slowing down a little bit and getting to spend more time and the whole family being here together all the time. So with the exception of the homeschooling being a bit of a challenge sometimes, it hasn't been that horrible. My suggestion for dealing with stress is always get out. Go outside, get some sun, ride a bike, go out and do some push-ups, do some kind of exercise. Exercise is like one of the best stress relievers ever. And then at night, sit down with a nice glass of whiskey and a cigar. Bob's your uncle. If you could only carry one knife for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? You know, if you ask me that question, like once a month, I'd give you a different answer. Right now, it would probably be this here in Cozy. It's kind of a nice, elegant knife, and I think it kind of flexes into a lot of different categories, yet it's very robust, it's a worker, and even though it's kind of a high-end knife with high-end materials, like you could tell this thing's meant to do work, and it would probably take whatever you threw at it. Serious worker knife, but still got great lines and some sex appeal. My brother Calvin, will you be doing more tech videos in the future, i.e. 2021? Yeah, I think so. I've haven't been doing a lot of it because as I've mentioned before in videos and stuff in the podcast, tech has kind of been bumming me out lately. I feel like they just kind of regurgitate the same diff things just over and over with slight tweaks. So I haven't really been inspired by anything. I'm a tech guy, I love tech. And as sure as something comes along that kind of catches my attention, I'll definitely be doing some more reviews. Only one question that matters. Do you even lift, bro? That's for my buddy, Colin. I used to always joke around calling him a Viking because he's like this big, huge, muscly dude, like no neck, traps, works out all the time but he's the kind of guy that pisses you off because he also can like run fast forever, like outrun people that do marathons. It's not fair for anybody to have that much muscle and also that much endurance. It's He's one of those super athletic people that just pisses you off. <laughs> but I love you, brother. Uh, but no, I, I, I have not been keeping up with my regimen as I should lately, so I'm ashamed. What did you do for a living before starting YouTube channel? I've done a lot of things, so it depends on how far we go back. I framed houses when I was much younger. I worked in a theater when I was a teenager. Uh, I owned, was a part owner of a gym for a little while. I mean, all kinds of craziness. I've been all over the place and done all kinds of stuff. But if you're talking the majority, uh, probably the thing that was most prevalent in my adulthood was I worked for the railroad for almost 16 years. Choo-choo, mother What is the best oil for beard? And I don't want to smell like a forest, please. I got two words for you. Old money. Enough said. Look it up. Beard brand, old money. One of the best things ever. Not the cheapest stuff in the world, but one of the best. Top five beard grooming tips. Bro dryer. Yeah, you heard me right. Bro dryer. That's a blow dryer that a guy uses. See what I did there? I don't even know if I could take credit for that. Did I invent that or did somebody? Anyway, blow dryer. My beard does not look like this in the morning when I get up. I look like Captain Cave. Did I just, Captain Caveman? I think I just dated myself by that reference. In any event, my beard sticks out like this. A little blow drying goes a long way to get that thing laid down and looking good. Don't overwash it. When you do wash it, don't use like regular soap. Use soap intended for beards because it'll dry it out if you don't. Keep the ends trimmed up. When they start getting all, trim, trim that dude up when it needs a little trimming. Let it grow. Let it grow, dude. Let it grow. What age did you start drinking whiskey? Like when do you start teething? Like eight months old? <laughs> when I was a kid, they used to rub whiskey or bourbon on, um, kids gums when they were teething to kind of help soothe the pain a little bit. So, I mean, eight months old, <laughs> but I mean, man, uh, coming from Kentucky, bourbon was a huge part of kind of the culture there. So, I mean, as long as I can remember, man, I've been drinking bourbon for a long, long time. Will you give a shout out to Nathan. We love your videos. Glad to hear it. Love you guys too. And absolutely Nathan, come on. A little virtual fist bump, brother. Hope all's going well. Favorite pipe tobacco. I'm gonna say Lane BCA. There's a couple others like Dark Strong Kentucky and some others I really like, but if I had to pick one, it would be Lane VCA. I mean, that stuff, it just smells like the stuff your grandfather used to smoke. You light that stuff in a room, everybody's your best friend. Nobody's mad that you're even smoking anything at all because it smells fantastic. What made you start your YouTube channel and how scared, nervous were you at first? Petrified. <laughs> if you've never sat and talked down the barrel of a lens of a camera in a room by yourself, it is super awkward the first time you do it. Matter of fact, some of my first videos were so awkward that I made them private. You can't see them on my channel anymore. Cause I mean, it was, it was, it's, they're hard to watch. <laughs> it's just painful for me to watch. I mean, I would just like come home from work. I'd be in a wife beater with like, you know, I mean, it was just, it was not good. It was, it was very, very bad. 
So yes, but that's perfectly natural. If you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, just do it, keep at it, and it'll feel more natural eventually, I promise. One knife, one bottle of bourbon, one cigar, the rest of your life. That's a tough one. Well, I already told you the knife. This is another one of these things where this answer will switch depending on what month you ask me. But for right now, knife, Chris Reeve and Kosi, large, because I'm loving this thing. One cigar, I'm gonna go with the Sin Compromiso, because right now that's one of my favorites. And one, you said bourbon specifically, not whiskey. Woodford Double Oaked. You can't go wrong with that stuff. It's an all-purpose banger. How and when do you pull the band off of a cigar? Change the scenery. I couldn't be doing all these questions about cigars and whiskey and, well, not drink some of this whiskey Dan and Sean sent me. Okay, so the question was, how and when do you pull the band off of a cigar? Uh, you know, there's some debate about this because there's some weird bougie people that say like, you're supposed to take it off right away and smoking a cigar with the band on it is like improper or some weird shit. Uh, I don't know. I think that's a horrible idea because the glue on the band sometimes gets on the wrapper itself. And if you pull it off too early, a lot of times it rips the wrapper. I like to wait until it gets down close to the band. The cigar from you smoking, it warms up that glue and it makes it very easy just to get your thumb and peel that bad boy right off. So that's how I like to do it. Did your wife take convincing letting you have a smoking room in the house? If so, how? I mean, no, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have a smoking room and I need you to go in the kitchen and bake me a pie. False. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm totally kidding, that wasn't how it was. Uh, I don't, I, it really didn't take a lot of convincing. The only thing she was worried about is the smell of smoke getting all through the house. She didn't care if I had a room, she just didn't want her whole house smell like cigars. Smoke proof the room real good, weather sealed on the door so the smoke couldn't get out and proper ventilation to get all the smoke out and different HVAC that doesn't suck smoke into the rest of the house and all that stuff. As long as she was assured our house didn't smell like cigars, you were, you're pretty good with that, right? You didn't give me a bunch of crap about it. Uh, no. No. I mean, it, it's upstairs, so it's... Is it still planned to release more coffee espresso videos? Absolutely, actually working with Whole Latte Love right now on something coming very soon. Are you an outdoorsman like fishing and hunting? I would have to say currently no. Historically, yes, maybe one day we'll get back to it. Right now, life's too busy for that shit. The black hat with the white skull on the front, from where can I get it? From where can you get it is my website. Link down below. What is it like to be father time? I hate Dan and Sean. <laughs> If you could redo part of your YouTube journey, which part would you change and why? I would have started earlier and gone all in earlier and quicker. Did you go through an uncomfortable phase when growing your beard out? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure everybody does. horrible. And I also went through a homeless stage and a Bigfoot stage and a hobo stage in all the stages. Just stay strong. You'll get through it. Do you think Tarzan was clapping gorilla cheeks before he met Jane? <laughs> that's probably one of my favorite ones. I love that one. It's, I'm pretty sure that's how Corona got started. I feel like that's going to start some political I feel like stuff. You're talking about monkeys. I've, I know yeah. it's just it's just it's not good. <laughs> Best advice for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel: Just do it. Just start now, today. Any collaborations with the Whiskey Tribe guys in the future? I hope so, yeah. I mean, there's kind of been talks in the background several times about it and it just never happened. And now with Corona, everything's kind of derailed, but yeah. Favorite TV show, The Mandalorian. Are you a wizard? Would I have a beard like this if I wasn't? Funniest place you've ever gotten your beard stuck? In my wife's <laughs> Do you edit and upload your own content? Yeah. I mean, is there another option? I think like, do you have an editor? No. I'm cheap, so no, I don't have an editor. Plus, I actually enjoy the process, the editing process. It's part of the creative process for me, and I enjoy it. What is your dream car, and which song would you be playing in the car for the first drive? My dream car would probably be a truck, honestly. I'm more of a truck guy than a car guy. So probably like a Raptor, because I mean, come on, those trucks are awesome. But if I had to pick a car, I'd probably say like a 67 Chevelle, because those things are dope. It would definitely be like an old car from like the early to mid 60s. I like a bunch of those. And the song would definitely be Post Malone, Go Flex. What is your honest opinion of new air humidors? I've got one right behind me, so I love them. I think they're great. You're into cigars, it's definitely the way to go. I like the clear front, they hold humidity like a boss, they're great. Picture of you without a beard. I came out of the womb like this. If you have to give up one thing, would it be the beard, the cigar, or the whiskey? Cigar. I'd smoke a pipe. And last but certainly not least, what is the best advice your dad ever gave you? Anything worth doing is worth doing right. 
And that's it. That wraps this one up. That was a whole lot of questions. So hopefully you guys didn't get bored. Uh, hopefully I answered a lot of your questions. Uh, I apologize if I didn't get to your question, but there was a ton of them. So uh, there was no way I was gonna get to all of them. I'll probably do another one of these sometime in the future. So if you have questions, just keep an eye out on Instagram. I'll post a story just like I did this time uh, if you wanna participate in the next Q&A. All right, well that about wraps this one up. I'm going to finish up my drink a little drink, smoke a little smoke. I hope all you guys enjoyed this video. If you did feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. Change a sheet. I can't even talk. I can't even fucking talk. I went fucking shot. No wonder Jake's been shooting on video. I went Sean Connery. I was like, sure, sure, crush it. Okay. I can't now. Now you've got me.